Oma, um, let's also just talk a little bit about tongue sensitivity. Um, we, we've alluded to it a couple of times. Yes. Some horses are so tongue sensitive that they actually will pull their tongue back and get it over the bit. Now, with the Pelham fixed bar type bit, yes. that comes with its own problems because now you have got no tongue as a Correct. And you've got that, um, you've now, if the tongue was under there, yes. if it pulls it back and gets it over, yes. that now lies directly on the bars. Yes. So Makes it very painful for the horse. You, you, you've come up with two different ways of right. actually fixing that problem. As yes. I understand it, you're talking about the ported gag so that yes. it relieves the pressure so correct. that they're not trying to get the tongue over. Yes. Is that correct? Correct. But well, it's not frightening it? frightening the, the tongue. Yes. But you get some horses that now haven't had the chance of being listened to by having the pressure relieved off the tongue. Now it becomes a habit. Yes. And those horses, what we do then, there is two bits... And in fact, the one, you, the one that instigated this, and this is called the Gavin Chaplin Pelham. Yep. Uh, that spinner, there is no pressure on the horse's tongue. In racing, you find horses that have a tongue problem, they actually tie the tongue down. But this is a far kinder way. Much kinder. All this is, it, it acts like a gate. So you can imagine the, the palate is there. As the tongue comes up, to come over that hits the roof of the mouth so it stops it so it just sets the only advice i give with this if the horse hasn't had it in before just put in put this in its mouth with a bridle just leave it in the stable for a couple of hours it'll sort itself out it will realize there is no pressure that'll stop it going over but the bit is also ported both ways this to way uh, and, and that way. way so there's so little tongue pressure correct just Correct. one thing that I have found using these bits, Bomber, some horses are so adamant about getting their tongue over yes. that they will put their tongue over. So now people then go to a drop nose band, which has got the ring yes. here, and that pinches here. Yes. Where if you use a flash nose band, there's no ring in the way. So Correct. far more yes. beneficial to use yes. the flash nose band that you've got that problem Correct. than a, a drop yes. nose band. Yes. Well, I also have that in a gag. In both the fusing and the rope gag. And the rope gag. Yeah. So, uh, rope gag, there it is there. Now, this again is the three piece, which now will create tongue pressure, give you less bar pressure, but for the old horse that's created a habit, that will now eliminate the tongue going over. I call these more a fix it bit yes. because you've got a problem. It's an old problem. You've tried the others. It's still got the sting in its head. When a bit goes in its mouth, oh, I've got to pull my tongue away or get my tongue out or try and get it over. Okay. So that's when we resort to, to this. As I say with sensitive tongue horses, I say four to eight percent of all horses will have that problem. But uh, generally those with a sensitive tongue, I found are always the most natural athletes they are phenomenally balanced so please take time to ensure you get the right bit in the right horse's mouth